This is John Lemasny. I run the beer critique blog called beercritic.wordpress.com. And tonight I am going to enjoy one of my favorite uh, styles, but also very specifically one of my favorite takes on the style by one of my favorite breweries, and that is Stone. Stone's Old Guardian is a great exemplar of the barley wine style and this is a 2009 release uh, one of the things that I like about barley wine is that it is a very um, powerful style very strong style usually high ABV and this is no no uh, exception to that this is 11.3 percent ABV which uh, in my estimation is around 660 calories for a bomber like this one and um, I will not be surprised about the quality of this brew tonight I've had this quite a few times and um, I would strongly already recommend it to anybody along with any other stones that you can find. I'm actually going to do what I like to refer to as the um, the loaded barrel shot because this, as I said, is a very powerful brew and I think that this shot sort of exemplifies that idea. Very nice uh, story on the back here. Highly recommend reading anything on a stone brewery bottle. But we digress. For barley wine style ale, because we want to capture and enhance as much of the aroma as we can, uh, we go for something like this, this curved, small snifter. I'm going to focus in on that and give some bright backlight. Let's go ahead and listen for the crack here. Very nice cherry and oak aroma coming from the bottle. I'm going to do a fairly aggressive pour because barley wine with that high ABV, at least in my experience, a real brewer would probably tell me it has nothing to do with anything, but in my experience, high ABV brews tend to uh, take a toll on the lacing, on the head, etc. This is a beautifully clear, although there's a lot of bubbles there, that's mostly about the glass, a beautifully clear style. You can see that nice deep red amber color. A very nice thick off-white head. You can get a nice... Uh, shot there. Really like what's happening with those bubbles, nice big bubbles. And I love that color. It's just an amazingly rich, deep, what I refer to as sort of an angry ruby red. And this is an angry ruby beer. So, very nice. A little bit of an alcohol burn, but with 11% ABV, not surprised. Lots of uh, rose scent, very flowery. Definitely some hay, a little bit of uh, sort of barnyard esters some 
manure. Um, I don't think there are probably any Brettanomyces uh, present here, um, but it does have a funk to it. A very nice scent. Very nice, very enticing. That is a beautiful, brilliant red. You can see the head has dissipated almost entirely. That's just a thin line there now. Let's give it a taste. It has great warmth, very sweet for just a second, and then extremely bitter, like most of Stone's brews. Um, it is impressive, strong. It is flowery in its flavor. It is um, deep. It has layers. There are sweet, lemony, citrus layers. There are uh, bitter rind flavors. There are spicy notes, definitely coriander, definitely cilantro, I mean a little bit soapy, not chemically so, just um, really very nice. It really would pair wonderfully with a lot of great things. i um, thinking chicken, steak. Uh, I would love to have some bacon with it, which is kind of a funny thing, you know, some pork. Uh, but that the, the richness of the fat would be cut so nicely by the crispness of the body here. Uh, that, that finish is so nice, warm, long. It should be enjoyed on a cold, cold night around a campfire. That's what I'm thinking should happen with this brew. Let's taste again, just see if we can get another little impression. It's beautiful. It's it's really nice. Very good example of the style. Very in keeping with the style. Nothing, quote unquote, surprising. Negatively surprising, especially. Um, but all of the uh, volumes are amped up to eleven. I mean, it's strong, nice, beautifully done. Thank you, Stone. Thank you, Greg. And um, I'll talk to you again real soon.